All right, welcome to my two shields. <laughs> Just kidding, this is the Rogue Gun. Today, we're gonna take a look at the MMP Shield 40 and the MMP Shield 9. And uh, this is really an interesting case here because you're really looking at two similar, almost identical firearms, and this isn't even the same generation of shield. What we've got here is the MMP Shield 40, Gen 1, stippled, polished, barrel, all custom stuff, nothing professionally done, but just to give myself a little bit better grip, um, I've had this pretty much since the shield came out. Things that I've done, this little pinky extension on the magazine, uh, still the 6 plus, plus 1 is my primary carry uh, in fact for years this is my daily carry uh eventually i broke down and picked up this uh nine this is the mp shield nine 2.0 uh some extra serrations over here in the front uh pre-stippled grip still the short magazine seven plus one Not really sure why I have two at this point in time. Uh, <laughs> interestingly enough, I picked this one up. Um, I don't know. It was before I even think I got home. The Shield uh, Plus was announced, it felt like. Uh, and I wasn't really sure if I even wanted to keep this. And since I've had it, it's always been something like, do I even want to keep this? I bought it for the extra capacity, which is kind of silly. It's plus one. At the time, there really weren't any double stack uh micro nines or 40s or anything like that so i i ended up with the nine thinking i was going to get more capacity uh in terms of carry and size and all of that they're pretty much identical in terms of uh i haven't really tried to swap parts or anything like that but uh, i haven't found anything any difference in terms of concealability or size or anything uh, if I had to say one gets carried more than the other, it's still my 40 for whatever reason, just because, uh, I don't know. That's what I ended up carrying even after I bought my 9. So, the 9 is something that I convince myself that I need and keep, and then all of a sudden, it still doesn't get carried because it's been replaced with a Hellcat. So, uh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the 9, obviously. It's a great caliber. Uh, you can see the difference is the 6 and the 40. Versus the seven rounds on the nine. Uh, I have nothing against it. I carry a Hellcat in replacement of this. I was going to get the Shield Plus, and then I, I just really liked the way the Hellcat felt. It was a little smaller, a little more compact. Uh, again, personally, I really consider these two firearms uh, really Hall of Fame carry weapons. Um, if anything, they're not, you know, there's. I took this out to the range. I don't, I think I carry this around for the last two years, and... Every time I've taken it out to the range, I don't know if I've actually cleaned this. I'll be honest with you. It's, you know, I, I, I'm going to clean it today, but uh, it's not something I shoot very often anymore. I got extremely comfortable with it in the beginning. And then, you know, I take it out to the range frequently enough to stay comfortable with it. And every time I take it out, it is, I, it performs flawlessly. I feel extremely comfortable with it. Uh, when I got this thing, I probably put two or three thousand rounds through it in the first uh, few months of ownership and um i'm very comfortable with this interestingly enough the 2.09 feels slightly different to me i don't know if it's a trigger what it is i'm for some reason i'm a little bit more accurate with my 40 um i'm gonna credit to the grip and stippling and that stuff even with the longer magazine i think i'm just this extra grip provides a little bit better uh this this unprofessional stippling job here with this extra aggressive uh provides some good sandpaper ish feel this not so much so i think this just feels more stable in my hand maybe that's what it is it could be psychological i find myself pulling this if center is here i tend to be off center off to the left consistently with this one if i pull i pull a few inches to the left maybe a few inches down but with this gun i tend to have vertical groupings like this if i'm pulling anywhere but I can go same hole, if not, the hole just gets bigger vertically. With this one, I'll uh, pull down into the left for whatever reason. Uh, I'm not sure, don't really 
it's it's probably psychological. There's nothing wrong with it. It's purely me. I'm not going to point it on the gun. So again, I think it comes down to grip, and I've got enormous hands. Each one of these, you know, I can palm and kind of cover each one of these. So again, large hands, small firearms. I think the accuracy is a pure purely comes down to my uh, larger size. Um, I don't have any issue shooting a nine versus a 40. I know a lot of people say this is a lot snappier than this. I've gone back and forth at the range with these the other day, actually. Uh, yeah, nine snaps a little bit less, but I think when you get in something this small, it really just comes down to uh, how you can grip it and keep your hands on it. Shots on target. Um, rapid fire. I think I was a hair more accurate with this when I just kind of Got this as soon as I got the sights on the target, I fired. You know, maybe I was more accurate. I don't, I don't, I can't really say. I don't, I don't really remember. Uh, again, identical in terms of you know, look, feel, touch. So, should you get a shield in 2021? I guess that's ultimately what it comes down to. Well, I guess at this point, we're talking, should you get a shield in 2022? I would say yes, if this is in your budget and this is all you can afford. This is better than having nothing. Um, if you can step it up to get the Shield Plus, absolutely. If you're looking for something and you have, you've got large hands and you want to shoot it accurately, I think the Shield Plus is definitely a uh, probably going to be a little bit more accurate. I haven't shot it yet, but I can tell you I've felt the extra width in the grip. And if you've got wide hands and your hands look anything like this on this firearm, you know, you get that second thumb up and again... My finger isn't longer than the barrel, but it's up there, right? So if your hands are anything like this, you may want to consider the Shield Plus. It's absolutely phenomenal pistol. In fact, I've thought about trading this in for a Plus many times. Um, I still might. Uh, it's a, the day is young, we'll say that. Uh, the thing that I've done on my 40, and again, this is probably something I'll just keep forever because I've done so much to it. I don't think anyone else is going to want this. But uh, I've put the stippling there where a lot of newer the, a lot of newer firearms I've noticed put the stippling there as a kind of grip texturizer for that pointer index finger. <clears throat> Same thing I've done over here. Put that for my thumb because that really keeps me right on target so I don't get up on the slide either one and I don't end up on either of the levers. A lot of people ride this lever. For me, I've learned to keep my thumb right out of the position and kind of right there. So I, I've got a fairly unique... Uh, shooting position but a lot of that is just to avoid certain uh, malfunctions with this particular firearm to keep it firing the way I want it uh, should I need to use it in a self-defense situation I really want that slide locking back I prefer to be able to put it in drop it and keep going rather than having to kind of fiddle with it and figure out if I'm empty or not or uh, I just again just practice and lots of practice lots of muscle memory with this particular firearm so you know, I can go from picking it up to right engage and right where I need to be every single time. It's not something that, same thing. I think the, the thing that I'm missing here is that little thumb index. I, I just noticed I kind of slid down looking for it. But uh, yeah, both definitely well, well made firearms. If you're ever questioning of getting a shield, I would say get one. Um, the only reason I may take my inventory of shields down to one is because I've got so many magazines, I've got so much time and energy put into this particular firearm. Uh, this one does not get carried ever since I've got my Hellcat, where I still do put this in my pocket uh, occasionally. I think the only reason I would carry that is if I want to take uh, this and my Hellcat to the range at the same time, which I don't necessarily need to do, um, because one or the other would be in my pocket uh, or concealed, and then I've got some larger uh concealable weapons from there when i don't need to be so uh inconspicuous or prefer not to print kind of thing so again these are really my non-printing concealed carry firearms uh definitely hall of fame carry as far as i'm concerned uh before these i had mnp compacts uh, i tried uh, some of the ruger compacts uh the compacts are great i love compacts i still own some compacts um, and in fact, I'm probably going to pick up another compact here soon to uh, add to the collection. But um, having the little micros or the sub, the this class of weapon is definitely, you know, what was originally the single stack 
uh, 9s and 40s now becoming double stack micro uh, compacts. They're definitely something that you should consider carrying and bringing as part of your carry because I find myself, you know, there are times where I really just don't want to print as much or I'm going somewhere where, you know, it's a little, I may be uh, interacting with the kids or bumping into people and, you know, my kids will come up and hug me and things like that. I just really want something really small and uh, concealable so it just doesn't, it's not obvious I'm carrying kind of thing, I guess. Um, not that the kids touch the firearm, I should correct myself there. But uh, just in general, I think having something like this is is really uh, a little more inconspicuous at times uh and i i prefer carrying than not carrying so if i can you know carry something with a little more capacity similar to uh a true subcompact size in a micro size um which is what my hellcat or the shield plus would give you i think that uh those are great options to consider so Yes, the Shield is a great option if that's in your budget, but if you can step it up and get to the Shield Plus, I would definitely go that route. <sighs> Why do I have this? There's so many other options out there. We'll see what happens today. The day is young, but uh, this this is in my personal Hall of Fame. So uh, this is we've 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 had a lot of carry time with this one. So hopefully uh, this was valuable. Again, both of these are excellent, great firearms can't go wrong with the MMP series in any size really comes down to size personal choice what fits in your budget what fits into your pocket or your concealable lifestyle again uh it was kind of overkill and just oh I want to carry more capacity and that extra one really wasn't worth the extra for me personally but again if you want a nine get a nine if you want a 40 get a 40 I'm not here to argue caliber I know 40 has been kind of uh the, the lost cause lately, I'm probably one of the last people that really even cares about carrying a 40. Um, but I'll tell you what, whenever I go look for ammo, can always find it. <laughs> so uh, that's one of the advantages of like having all kinds of, ca all the calibers. But uh, yeah, again, personal choice, do your thing. Uh, the road gun out, hopefully you found some value here. Remember, like, subscribe, share. Uh, go pick up a Shield Plus, go get a Hellcat, go find something that's nice, concealable, that will make you carry... Uh, I won't say make you carry, but will allow you to carry in all the situations that you're comfortable carrying, as well as something that you can take to the range and shoot and have fun with. So uh, have a wonderful, inspired day, and uh, we'll talk soon.